TJ, please. Rico. Well, Mike, let's go back to the first weekend of the tournament. Two-part question for you. Who was the team that you overvalued? St. Mary's. Straight away. I, I love the way they played all year. I thought they'd become better than Gonzaga. Top five defensively. They don't let you get to the rim. They got a, a really good point guard, Naden Mahaney. And they completely showed their ass against Grand Canyon. I'll say St. Mary's. Flip side of that coin. Who was oh, the team? Actually, timeout. Can oh. I unwind the yarn ball? All right, let's go no, back. No, I deserve this. <laughs> Kentucky, too. All year, I loved watching Kentucky. They're like the Warriors. They got five guys shooting 40% from deep. I'm a slap for Reed points, Shepherd. Five times. Right. I, it has, it's Kentucky and St. Mary's. Sorry. Okay. Who was the team you undervalued? Not necessarily that upset winner, but just a team that you're like, you know what? I did not give them enough credit. I'm going to help you with that. For me, Shaka Smart and Marquette. All right. So, I gave so them no credit. I thought that they would be home by now. And instead, yeah, well, they're, they're in So teams still in the tournament. So, like, you can't say OU because they're out. Right. Be honest. Or Clint. maybe maybe OU. I mean. The problem, if you don't win two, are you a, a Cinderella? Yeah, you got to win two to be Cinderella. You got to make the Sweet 16. But if you're OU, you knocked off Kentucky. So. Yeah, enjoy your consolation prize. I'll say Clemson. I really yeah. just, I didn't think much of them. They I beat America's Lobos, and then they beat Baylor. Yeah, you got to be a college basketball fan because they're just kind of there, and you're like, wait, wait, dude. Is this they got or? Joe Girard from Syracuse. The guy's been in college for nine years. He's Tommy Boy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. If you were to reseed this, Mike, who are your best four teams right now? UConn. UConn. Well, UConn, UConn. Okay. No, it'd be UConn, Houston. <sighs> Look, my problem is I think those are just by far and away the best. North Carolina is fine enough, but I don't think they're special. No. Go ahead. What are your best four? UConn and Houston have to be on the list, right? UConn's there. Purdue's there. You really, you, I, I give you credit. You are willing to die with Matt Painter. I am. I think this is going to be different. This is the year. This is the year. Matt Painter's your Scott Frost. Houston, I like as well. Um, UNC get the last spot, or you want to bump up somebody else? The fact that your point guard cannot hit a three-pointer and that teams actively run away as if that was Matty Sissoko at the three-point line, I may bump up Arizona. And put God, Arizona. They're hard to trust, too, because Caleb Love will shoot you into a game and shoot you out of the game all at once. That's true. All right. Talking about these teams, Mike, is this year's tournament better than last year's tournament because you have blue bloods in it? Mm. But there's not really no stars. So would you rather have stars or would you rather have blue bloods? It's a great question. I think, A, this is a huge problem with the men's game right now and why I think a lot of people are talking about the women's tournament. Mm -hmm. Look, while the women's tournament, I, I I don't find it enjoyable. It's a different style of basketball. It's below the rim. It's just not for me. They have stars. They right. have Caitlin Clark. They have Paige Bukers. They have Cardoza at Reese, South Carolina. Yeah. They, they they have uh, the, 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 the young lady at USC. Uh, not Juju. What was her name? I know what you're talking about. But she's awesome, yes. too. Like, they have stars. Angel Reese down at LSU. So, like... I want the stars, but there are none in the men's game. I'll take the Blue Bloods. I couldn't tolerate last year's Elite Eight and Final Four. It was ridiculous. Whereas this year, you look like you're going to get a name brand. I'll Blue take Magic. It. This will be weekend, there. I get Duke and Houston, or I get I get brand names. Okay. I'll take this tournament versus last year. How far does DJ Burns in North Carolina State go? I mean, they, how are they going to react to actually not playing every day? They finally get a week off. They played Go. like eight games in ten nights. Go, who do we play today? It's no one. rest. Go back to sleep. <laughs> what? Well, when shoot around. I mean, first of all, if Horn, their star, does not play better, he no showed against OU. Yeah. No showed. Forty minutes, he was nowhere to be found. They won't win another game. They have the ability to hurt you because if you don't double Burns, he bodies you into the basket. If you do, he's dropping dimes. Mm -hmm. But here's your issue. They only play seven people. They do not have depth. 
that's going to bite them in the ass. The other problem, I think that point guard of theirs, O'Connell or McConnell, absolute liability. Cannot stand that kid. Can I'll I, say I'll say they lose this weekend. Can I triple down and say they at least make it to the uh, Elite Eight? DJ Burns is America's player. But you know I'm rooting for him. I am too. They're playing Marquette. You know what? You know what I was. <laughs> me and my dad were calling him the mm. Big Pasta. <laughs> That's a big bowl of ziti. <laughs> that guy had yeah, the big pasta. He's just fun to watch, and he's really talented. He is. Good thing Tom didn't hit the portal for a player like that. Is Zach Eady the best player in the tournament right now? I'm not answering that. <laughs> you pleading the fifth? I have no recollection, Senator. Okay. Don't ask me to talk nice about Purdue. I can't. Okay. This is your deal. Is Zach Eady the best player in the tournament? I think he is. Golly. Mike, Zach Eady, he's 20 and 15. Gu- guaranteed. He's eight feet tall. Doesn't matter. It's not his fault that you're you, the people can't guard him. How am I supposed to guard him? Get that's on just, stilts? That's just it. I mean, he you can't. And he, what, Jeff? Go ahead. What do you want? I hate Zach Eady so much. Uh, he can't shoot the three. He can't even shoot a mid-range. I, I hate him. But, Jeff, that's why I like him. Because Zach, no, no, he can Zach is old school big man. No, I know, I know where I eat right here in the little semicircle. I'm taking all of my shots from here, um, and you can't stop it, Jeff. Jeff, and I'll have the refs baby me the whole way. Let me lock a guy three inches shorter than me with my arm. That's my right. Fault. Go get taller players. No hook it's and ridiculous. hold. It is. Go get taller players. Oh, will you stop it? Yeah, because everyone's seven five. Please. Well, they got a they got a, a new one coming next year. They He's have seven, a lab one. at Purdue. They build spaceships and seven foot five bigs. Right. They got a redheaded seven two guy coming. They next got year. Ginger Edie coming in. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Dusty May had his press conference today, not tournament related, but current. How long do you got, uh, Jeff? I'll throw you in this as well. How long before Michigan is one of the top four teams in the Big Ten? He's, you know what? He's setting you up. This is just like when he was your teacher. He's setting you up for a fail. <laughs> I, I need to know if they're going to support this man through NIL and through the transfer portal. It'll they, probably be the first couple of years, like Jawan Howard, and then they'll stink again. How about that? So I think it's the instant. opposite. I think he's a program builder. I think Dusty May, if given time and support, can build a really nice program at Michigan. But they got to stop with this routine. You can't have transfers commit. Well, maybe they'll get a couple guys back. Apparently, Terrace Reed is interested. George Washington III actually attended his press conference. I'll say you don't know who he is, but he was on the team last year. Trust Didn't me. Didn't he die in like 1750? That's just George Washington. Does this George Washington have wooden <laughs> teeth too? Maybe. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> George, there's, wait a minute. They have a player named George Washington. George Washington III. That's tremendous. He was on the team last year. He was the backup point guard. Oh, is this the one who actually reads? Yes. <laughs> and... and just for you, Mike, hot off the press. Yeah, let me hear it. There is a new name who has entered the chat for the head coaching job at the University of Louisville. I present to you, Richard Patino has entered the chat. Not Rick. Not Rick. Richard. The son. Shut the program down. Listen, I like what Richard's done in the desert at New Mexico. <laughs> if you hire <laughs> Richard Patino at Louisville, thank you, Romy. It, you are. that. No way. That Ru- can't be real. Rumor has it that he has now jumped to the uh, to the head of the class. Hey, we can't hire his dad. Let's get the cheap facsimile son. Well, you know that means dad will show up to some games after he leaves St. John. That's a horrible idea. So I'll just tell you that is a horrible idea. I, I don't like that. So I thought, I thought you, and you know what? We got time for one more. Quick oh, one. sure. Mike, how good of a, how good of a job is U of D and can somebody turn that around? It's one of the 10 worst jobs in America, but can you turn it around? No, not in basketball in America. Like if you're the guy who has to clean out septic tanks, probably a better gig than U of D's men's basketball coach. You're the guy who has to climb up one of those 500-meter tall spires to change the light bulb, and there's no zip line to get down. A better job than U of D hoops. Get no. the road kill off the road? Yeah, worse. I don't care if your entire job is cleaning a horse's ditty bag off a Central Park carriage. 
better gig than U of D hoops. I, I, Rico, no, I don't think you can turn it around. There are no players in this state. There are no players in the city of Detroit anymore. I don't know where the alumni base is. I don't know if they have an NIL program. Mike Davis just stopped recruiting. I who? You got Cookie Moore. You would need. <laughs> you will need. Here it's almost Easter. You'll need Jesus to crawl out of that rock and go coach you of day, and have the burning bush as the assistant. I, no, I don't think you can turn that thing around. Hearing two local names going for the job. Who? So, uh, Mark Montgomery and Saudi Washington. So. Take Montgomery. Be a great hire. All right. Well, Sadi Take need, him. Sa- I'd rather Sadi. He needs a job. That's your... <laughs> so you'll see hoops is the unemployment line. Nah, I mean, you know. Just go. That's your blitz. Go. <laughs>